Well, looky here. So this is a RCA Victor A37. I worked on, I normally don't work on these big cabinet radios. Uh, this is a favor for a friend. I have worked on the quote unquote tabletop version of this exact radio, which I think is an A32 or something like that. Um, very similar. It's got preset buttons, which is really cool. These ones actually have some of the station identifiers on it. And uh, we'll take a look at it. I have tested the tubes. The tubes are all good, which is a good start. I see that the um, dial cord is off, which is always a pain in the rear end. And it's got the great big magic antenna, as they're called. And a great big speaker. So, should be fun. Let's see what we discover. Well, the first thing that we discover, aside from the fact that whoever owned this um, smoked pipe, <laughs> because you can sure smell the pipe smoke on it. Uh, can't you smell over YouTube? Uh, this electrolytic fil uh, supply filter supply supply filter capacitor has clearly been replaced probably sometime in the 60s I'm guessing by the looks of that can and here I have the pointer for the dial so we're gonna have to do some work there uh oh this the uh, speaker cone is shredded uh. All right, well, I don't know whether we're going to get any sound at all out of this with that broken cone and what it's going to sound like. So I've made all of the changes that I'm going to make for now. Replaced uh, a number of capacitors and uh, a couple of resistors. And I've left the electrolytic capacitors in, believe it or not, which are things that I normally automatically change. Uh, but they seem to be good. And obviously they're the third replacement for this particular radio. And the radio's sounding good. There's no hum. Reception's excellent, so um, we'll just leave them for now.